A bullet fired versus a bullet dropped. Picture two bullets, each exactly the same distance from the ground, each released at the exact same second, except one bullet is dropped to the ground while the other is fired horizontally from a gun. The classic physics thought experiment states that both will hit the ground at the same time. However, how is this possible? When a bullet is dropped, the x component is zero and its y component is only being affected by gravity. For a bullet fired, even though it does have an x component and a y component, the two bullets can lime simultaneously. Even if the two bullets are not identical in mass, it will not affect the results. Although they would have different individual gravitational masses calculated by mass times acceleration, the actual pull of gravity is the same, so the two objects are still affected by the same quantity of force. In this case, only height and the acceleration of gravity are relevant for the two bullets to hit the ground at the same time, as each bullet will fall at a rate of 9.8 meters per second every second, regardless of their weight. If you also include the theory that a bullet that is fired from a gun has no lift, and the fact that it is fired horizontally so there is no curve, then the Y component will also only be affected by gravity. In this case, the X component of each bullet is irrelevant and only the Y component matters. Since the only thing vertically affecting the bullets are gravity, and each faces the same acceleration of 9.8 meters per second squared, then they will both reach the ground at the same time. Therefore, even though the bullet being fired would go much further, the two bullets would reach the ground at the exact same time. Now, for those of you who want more proof instead of just my explanation of the physics behind it, Mythbusters looked at this exact topic in which they performed both halves of the experiment at the same time, I would too perform this experiment, however I do not possess the proper equipment to do so. They took two identical bullets and fired one from a pistol and dropped the other. The results showed exactly what I explained. Both bullets hit the ground almost simultaneously. There was a 39.6 millisecond difference, which is less than the human eye can make out. So, to wrap things up, when determining how long it will take for an object to hit the ground, it is dependent on the Y component affecting the object, not the X. So, if the Y components are equivalent, they will hit the ground at the same time, just like the bullet example.